Let's go, baby. That's perfect. There you go. All right, bro. That's how you do it, my first podcast. Oh, that's sure. your first podcast? Yes, bro. Oh, uh, uh, yo. Ladies and gentlemen, from Catania, Sicily, Giovanni Leonides. Scuderi! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here you go, bro. Man, I'm excited to have him on. Sorry my voice isn't better, bro, but I was thinking about doing this all day. I was, You're doing great, bro. I was practicing. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me, yeah, guys. appreciate it, bro. Rocco, Sabino. Giovanni. Leonidas. You're not Greek. You're Sicilian. 100% Sicilian. Awesome, man. I just recently met this guy and shining star, man. Finally, some excitement because we have an Italian fighter, heavyweight, and we're Cruz ready for a heavyweight champion. Yeah, I think, G Giovanni, your class is cruiserweight, right? Yeah, cruiserweight, the, but yeah, probably cruiserweight? in future we're going to move up like a... Uh, future heavyweight, future, future heavyweight, baby. We got to eat a little more pasta, yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pasta power. That's always a good thing. Now, he taught me something that I, gotta, I feel like I got to bring up. His hometown has the second biggest coliseum in Italy. The first one, obviously, we know. In the world. In the world, well, not the, even. The first one is the coliseum in Rome. In the Rome. second one, uh, we have it in Catania. So there's two in Italy. No, there's yeah. probably more in Italy, right? Well, there's probably the more, but the biggest is crazy. Wise. The biggest, uh, yeah, it's uh, Rome, and the, the, uh, the second one is in Catania. In Catania. So it's safe to say that fighting's in your blood. 100 percent, bro. Through and through. You know, if I didn't know better, I would definitely say you're Greek, especially because your name is Leonidas on Instagram. His nickname, his yeah, nickname. his nickname is Leonidas on Instagram. So, I when like, I first saw his Instagram, I was like, "This kid's Greek. What are you talking about?" And yeah. I was like, "Oh sh!" I, you see a picture of him flexing on uh, <laughs> with the Sicily flag. Just come right here, Joe. I want to get the best yeah. audio for this. We're excited to have you. So I'm excited to be here, guys, especially because you know what I want to do. It's just having my people all around me, you know, because I'm here representing Sicily, Italy, all the Italian. So I would love Forza you know, Sud Italia. See, I, I would love, you know, everybody, you know, supporting me in this, you know, in uh, this my journey. Of know? course, man. Sorry for my English, but you know, I, I still no, have to learn. You. Listen, you know? we've heard worse. You sound perfectly fine. Trust me. You're good. But it's it's absolutely a privilege to have you on. I'm glad we caught you now before it's too late. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only, We're only, on the train now, you know? <laughs> only Lord knows what it's going to take you, but I see a bright future for you. We're super excited to have you on. And, of course, the Italian culture right behind you, man. I can promise you that. Italians, the way the community is set up, if one Italian is doing well... You have the whole Italian community backing you up 110%, and I know that's what you look forward to. And I could only see the future where you're going in a ring, you're squaring up, and you got a bunch of Italians at home cheering you on, man. I would love that, bro. We're going to bring out the game. Of course, we're man. We're talking about it, man. We're going to you know, we're gonna get behind him 100%. Expect us to push tickets for him, all that. It's all, of course, it's all in the works. So, Java, for the people who don't know you, just you know, give them a little introduction, what you do. Uh, what exactly your life has been like lately? Oh, it's it's very it's very hard to explain and you know <laughs> explain my life. Well, I'll start with this. He's 24 years old. Yeah, I'm just 24 years old. I started boxing four years four years ago. Wow. I was 20. Started very late. 20. Yeah, you know? man. And uh, I remember when uh, I first decided to come here in USA, in the US, everybody was making fun of me. Like, bro, you're just a boxing now. Yeah, you're looking good, but, you know, it's the case to go there and start to fight there. You know, I think, you know, you should, you should just stay here, try to make it to do a lot of fights as how much you, you know, and then, and then figure it out, you know. So, but, you know, one, I, I got, my talent is that I always get what I want. I don't have other talents. That's my talent. <laughs> I respect you know? it. So basically saying a couple of tours, you know? <laughs> yeah. He has a hard head. When I want something, bro, oh you my go God, I'm going to get, I'm going to, you know, because I think what is matter in the life, when you want something, it's, it's all about what you are ready to sacrifice for that, you know? Mm -hmm. How many people get up in the morning, six in the morning, start to run, 
you mean on the snow, rain, then go back training again. In the beginning, I used to, you know, training and work and be a professional boxer, you know, an athlete. It's a full time job. It's a full time job. So in the beginning, you know, it was a little, a little hard, like, it was very hard, you know. And uh, I used to work like a chef, like a, in the kitchen, you know, mm-hmm. like, um, and it's pretty hard and stressful, like, job. And then, you know, I got a big opportunity. I signed with uh, Holyfield, Evander Holyfield, a legend yeah, that's, that's of boxing. That's what I was going to ask him is uh, I would love to hear that story again about uh, how you got your visa. Yeah. Exactly what you said. So, basically, I just just came here, you know, my plan was, uh, you know, to just to start the training and, you know, the classic American dream. Right. I said, if I'm good, you know, somebody's going to see me and going to help me, you know, I'm going to make it. And it was like this. I just start, you know, my amateur career in uh, Washington, D.C., where I had my first Golden Glove. And everybody from Italy, from Sicily, don't really support me. Everybody was talking like, gee, what are you doing, bro? We got right? a lot of haters. Yeah, a lot of haters. So it's hard to find somebody that's going to, you know, push you, you know, right. support you and all this stuff. So everybody was saying, you know, at the end of the day, it's not bad. You're going to, you know, do a nice experience, make a nice experience in, in, in Washington. You know, you're going to have one fight, a couple of fights. You know, if you win one fight, it's Yeah, good. you'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, you'll be all right. You'll do okay. So, and uh, then I win my first fight, my second fight, my third fight. I win the Golden Glove in Washington, D.C., North Carolina, yeah, Virginia, Delaware, Maryland. Two times, right? Two times, yeah. First time, then after the first time. For our fellows that might not know what uh, Golden Gloves is, what? It's a, it's a tournament. One of the, How many people are in it? And depends, because there is the Depends on the city, right? Yes. Like Washington DC pretty pretty big, you know. And then there is the regional. Washington DC, North Carolina and Virginia, Delaware, so all together, you know, and it's gonna be just one uh, the winner, you know. So Tremendous. So and then I win my first Golden Glove. Just come to visit a friend here in uh, New York mm-hmm. and I uh, just fall in love with the city, with New York because it remind me it's crazy but it reminds me Italy a lot, Sicily, you know. And uh, for a few stuff because I don't know why I feel home here. It's weird, you know. No, but that's definitely why uh, you know Americans, immig- well, Italians immigrated over to New York back then, and they formed a community here. Obviously, now it hasn't been as strong as a community as it is, but it's still there. It's definitely still here, and I could definitely see how it resonates to your homeland in Sicily. You know yeah. what I mean? Absolutely. You're but, mostly staying in Brooklyn and Queens, so yeah. That's a very strong yeah, Italian yeah. presence there. So and then, you know, I just decided to move here. So I started training and work in a, in one restaurant, like chef. And then, uh, you know, I'm just keep working and training, working and training, and try to become, you know, better every day. Then I decided to fight again the Golden Glove, but I had a little injury on my shoulder. So... I just wait a little bit to recover and I skip the Golden Glove in New York. Right. So I decided to go back in Washington just for the Golden Glove. Okay. And I fight the Golden Glove with a injury on the shoulder. You know, just because I was needed. You were know. hungry. You were hungry. I was needed a visa. That's ah, different. That too. Yeah. That too. <laughs> I was very hungry. You know? <laughs> is, is, is this a go home? How did Holyfield, Holyfield come in? Help you get, them, get your visa. Because, you know, just when I came here in New York, I started to sparring with one guy, a professional guy with a lot of experience, you know, and I started to sparring with him, and I was, you know, just a amateur. And I was doing well on the sparring with this guy, so his promoter to see me. And then everybody started to talk about me in the beginning, and, you know, and then one day Holyfield just came in the gym and bring me the contract. People, like, is a fighter, Holyfield is somebody... Then I used to a dream. Goal, like, go. Uh, yeah. I used to watch video on YouTube and uh, all this story, yeah. you know. I mean, all this he's stuff. Like, and then he's I mean, a legend. It. Yeah, he's a legend of boxing. I mean, even when Tyson bit him, just for that, yeah. he's forever yeah. Yeah. known yeah. to fight Tyson. And, you know, t- that's a guy that, you know, yeah. frustrated yeah. Tyson to even go Even people that don't know about boxing, you know. No, him. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So, so, legendary stuff, man. I'm going to cut you off real quick. When that happened, what was going through your head? Like, did you know, like, yo, this is it? You know, like, I grew- this is what I want? 
Mm, basically, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's go time right there, right? No yeah. more playing games, fully committed to boxing. Um, basically, you know, I'm, I'm building this way. When I do something, I do 100% on a, I'm not doing it. Right. So when I decided to do boxing, I don't know right away. Committed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so then I go back in Washington for the Golden Globe with this injury, you know, and uh, I did yeah. it be better, better than the, than the year before. You know. That's what he was telling me is that he fought for a year without his right. Yeah, without. That's I crazy. Was, now, do your opponents know this, or you kept? No, it? no. Again, even if you if you get hurt in the fight, you don't never they show it. Yeah, they because won't. if they smell blood, you know. Never do it. Never, Never you show your weakness here. to your opponent. You know you have to become even a Hector. On, but you have there. to be a hundred percent healthy to fight too. Yeah, yeah. So he probably wouldn't even be. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised. But you literally did that to have that visa, right? Yeah, because you know I just try to keep to to bring more you know trophy and stuff like that. Right. Because you gotta show. You know it's very hard right now to get a visa, so I yeah, I try to you know to win another Golden Glove, and then you know, after this Golden Glove. I just do my pro debut with the shoulder, with the, uh, with the shoulder like this in this condition, and it was very hard, bro, because I always have all my life over there because I really love here, you know, my life was doing good and everything, and uh, you know this injury just you know was very hard for me to you know to keep keep going, you know. So I had my pro debut. You know, with uh, this shoulder in this situation, and uh, you know, I say yeah, you gotta do it. So you can, you can just go back. Right. Because I was have just you know, one, two ways, fight, and try to win or risk to lose because I don't was in my best condition. Right. Or just you know, so give up and fight, and you know, go back in Italy and everything. So I decided to fight anyway. And then I've been unlucky because I fight against a sapo. So you gotta use your Lefty. hand. If you yeah, know, I don't know right if you know more. about boxing. So, so when I said, "Wow," you know, just your luck. <laughs> yeah. And then I said, "All right, you know what? Now just me and you." Yep. Now, sorry, I, I can course. I yeah, good, no, you can, you can. I said, I'm now the podcast, you can. I'm gonna. We were, we were now, I said, I'm now I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> you know, I just forget I was there in front of thousand, thousand people because then you know, boxing is just like a life. It's not easy, bro. There is a lot of things that are going on on your mind. You strategy become, every day. Right? No, it's not even a strategy. It's something more deep and more simple, like yourself. You know, everybody. You know, boxing helped me a lot because I grew up in a very, you know, tough place, you know. It's not easy to be a nice kid. I'm used to be a nice kid, you know. And if you show that you're just too nice, you know, the people are gonna, you know, smash you. You know what I'm saying? That's just the facts of life, man. Keep reaching. Yeah, that's, that's life. So, uh, boxing, you know, changed me and make me a man. I start to believe in myself, you know, to respect myself, respect other people, respect the rules. So that's, you know, even one of the things that I want to do when I become a champion, not when I will, because I know I become, I will become a champion. I believe in you, man. I'm going to open some gym, you know, in the hood where I used to grow up, because I want to give away, because most of the time the people go and do criminal stuff, use drugs, because they don't have no way, no example, you know, they don't have nothing. So I want to show that there is different way of that one. You know? right. Different life you could do. Like like me, like I'm doing now. I don't want to have nothing, man. Nothing. And now, look what I have. I don't have nothing special. I just have respect for myself. I'm in a beautiful place. I'm living a different life. And I got all the tools. I got my future in my hand. That's You beautiful. have a chance. I have a chance. You know, so That's all you need. So that's why I want to do that. I want to just open some, you know, place in Italy where I, in Sicily where I help these young kids, you know, and try to change their life. Put them on the right track, you know, because yeah. that's probably an opportunity you never After really had. After my pro debut, I st I tried to do this, something like that. I I try to find some money for this, you know. I don't know. I'm saying in English, you know, when you're too young for going jail, like reformatory or something like uh, that. Ju like juvenile? juvenile, yeah, yeah, Juvie. something like that, Juvie, you know. Yeah. So I went in place like that, and I offer, you know, not to pay, but I find, you know, the money and all the stuff to take this kid 
you know, uh, to the boxing class. Right. Because they have always problem. Because I grew up in a place like that, so I know so many kids that are in in situation like that. So they are probably like in jail, you know, because they are closing house but without doing nothing, no activities, and they are young kids, fourteen years old, sixteen, you know, without doing nothing, just sit there. You know, so I said, uh, let's do something like that. You know, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, I have the same situation. He was, you know, look how, in a reformatory, I just said. Yeah, yeah. No, you got it. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, start to boxing. And then he would become, he become Mike, Mike Tyson, you know. One of the most known fighters But the, all time. the problem in Italy, you know, is a lot of politics and things like that, so... Is there a lot of boxing in Italy, though? Uh, that is boxing. That is yeah. boxing. More amateur, but, you know, the soccer is the biggest sport. So. Yeah, of, course. of course. We were just looking at I was like, are you sure you want to be a boxer? You can pretty much play <laughs> basketball. Guy <laughs> six yeah. six. Yeah. I'm like, you know, you'll uh, you'll save a couple of shots to the head. <laughs> you know, but... Uh, you know, is, what, what I love about this kid is he's 24 and he has an old soul. Yeah. Like he's talking like a guy that's 45, 50. Like I feel like I'm talking to our fathers. You know what I'm saying? Like just somebody that's been through so much. And, yeah. you know, you're I'm, so young to have went through so much. I'm sure that you know a lot of old people than just when you start to talk to these old people. You know, not old people. Old, they have older than you. No, old, sometimes, you know, it happens and you talk to somebody and it's older than you, but it's look like you're know, talking to a kid. Yeah, oh, so yeah that's now it's the opposite. Now it's the opposite way, mm -hmm. you know? Like, yeah, I'm young, but, you know, uh, I got a lot of experience on a lot of stuff. You know, and you learn a mm -hmm. lot when you do, you know, mm, when you fall a lot, you know? And uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff in my life. I'm, I'm learning a lot. I learn yeah. a lot. I know what is, you know, what is really matter in this life. You know, mm -hmm. the principles, respect, the family. That's the really the, the, the best things in the life, you know. Now, Joa, I'm a little curious because you said a lot of people doubted you, in a sense, before you came to America. Like, oh, yeah, you'll be all right. You're not going to, you know, yeah. you'll get a win or two. You'll be fine, you know. I don't really think that boxing is the right decision. Yeah, don't, 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 don't believe it. You know? So, how did you, how did you, how were you impacted by that? What was your reaction to that? Did you, did that feel you to like want to kick ass or that bring you down a little bit, taken back? Like, damn, am I making the right decision? Yeah, both, both, you know. And then, you know, if you want to make it, there is only one way. You can let these things affect you, you know. So, you gotta just push. At the end of the day, you gotta just learn how to keep everything outside, you know? Right. Because if you start to. Or, like, or right here, you know? Yeah. Like, remember, like, forget, but don't forget at the same time. Yeah, you know? I got you. And. What else? There is a, there is a lot that I can say right what's, now. What's about. next for you, man? What uh you got you got any fights uh coming uh, up? Yes, um I'm I'm supposed to have a lot of fights right now, but you know we're just coming back now, you know from a surgery and everything, so I'm gonna be ready for it for the fight in uh, August. So okay. probably in August September we're gonna start to fight a lot. All right, like, the listeners you know, heard it here too. We're gonna backing you up 100 percent, man. Yeah. And uh, we're. You're you're known, I think, more in Italy than here. Would you say? Sorry. You feel like your fan base is more in Italy than here? Honestly. Or, or is it something like? Honestly, let me tell you something, bro. I think that I feel more home here. Yeah. Like more friends and family here. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah, I got a couple, but you know, I the real friend is not the guy that it's around you when you're just doing good. Right. A friend is there so when you're your worst, if, too. If we're talking about that, mm -hmm. I think that I have just a couple friends in Sicily. Mm -hmm. You know? Because everybody, you know, is around you when you're doing good. So, mm -hmm. you know, a real friends is somebody that used to be always with you in a dark, you know, time. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, feel, I, feel, I feel more at home here, you know. My life is here right now. My, my goal from when I met you is to make sure that... At the minimum, every Sicilian America needs to know him. Yeah, man. And at the so. maximum, every Italian needs to know him. Because <laughs> like, I was talking to Mike from Hardcore. I was like, yo, you, you heard of this kid? He's like, yo, he looks sick. I sent him that video that we just had on his YouTube. And yo, like, there's a lot of people that are excited about you. And we're backing you up. And we're ready to see you go. You know, with, with all these people around and all the people that support me, I'm not alone. So if I'm not alone, 
how I can I lose against right. one guy on the ring? It's not going to be just me. It's going to be whole day time. You, yeah. know? you know what I love about it, Java? It's the fact that I don't think Italy's had something like this in a while, dude. Except got- Rocky the movie. <laughs> there was sort of Chris Rock skit. Well, yeah. hey, you, you saw that one? Yeah. Where they're like, yo, Italians don't play when they watch Rocky. <laughs> hey, come on, Rocco! <laughs> Like Chris so, that's exactly what it is we like, haven't had one like that like I'm excited I'm, I'm, I'm like hoping for the best for you man you know I hope it's not too much pressure on you I know you can handle it though no it's just you know it's a good push you know for sure I'm just looking for that I'm just looking for my people you know because you know I don't know how I'll, how I'll exp- express myself but you know I want just my the Italian around me you know I, I could tell you're very, uh, you, you know, you love your culture. And you already said you want to give back. That's but crazy. Let me tell you something very interesting. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm listening. I start to love more my culture when I, when I, I start to, to live here in uh, that, That's in crazy. New York. That's true. That's really interesting. You know, if you talk to... Uh, you Italian, see how you're different. Yeah, you, if you talk to our Italian from Italy, everybody say, Ah, oh, what the fuck, I hate Italy, no, nothing works here. You know, there is no Genient. work. Uh, yeah. blah, blah, blah. It's all the same, All man. negative. All the same in South uh, Then I Italy. was like this too. I was like not proud to be Italian. I hate Italy, you know? Yeah. And then, you know, I just came here. Hi, oh, everybody. Oh, you're Italian? I'm Italian too. Even people that are not Italian. Mm-hmm. They have probably, like, some long, some calls, you know, things like that. So, look at these people that are so proud and happy to be Italian or to meet an Italian, you know. And then I meet, you know, some couple of guys right here. And I see that they are a whole school. They're, <laughs> like, real Italian. But they probably don't even... More old school than there, right? Eh? Yes, because they are stop. To the time when you know the real family, the real culture, everybody hit together and things like that. And now, for what I can say, it's uh, it's missing Sicily. Yeah, Italy. I don't think we've ever had somebody from Italy tell us something like that. Nah. So I'm glad that you're on you and know, being us truthful. Us Italian Americans are more like old school in the sense because I'll give you an example because so, people grow up like uh, in the way of 45, 50, 60 yeah, years yeah, ago yeah, exactly. you know, his father, grandfather mm-hmm. teach you know yeah, yeah, that's true what were you going to say? what example? so like get? I'll give you a little stupid example yeah. but like when my cousin was here from Italy she lives in Italy Campania I was playing Umberto Tozzi in the car she doesn't she know goes, it. Ma, no, she goes, ah. Ma chi send us a musica antica? <laughs> She's like, In Italia, mai ci sende si canzone. I'm like, Qui sempre. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, when the, you go the, to the, a party the, here. Basically, the best music. Classic, like yeah. time. How, how could you not listen to Umberto Dozzi, though? That's, that's, like, that's like Frank Sinatra here, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, uh, let it, me do an example. It's, it's like, you know, the young kids right now, they listen just trap. Yeah. It's talking about, you know, rap music or th- things like that, you know. Like, you know, a guy's a little bit older and listen to real rap, like Tupac or... or Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls, you know. And they know just rap. Like uh, this young trap, you know, this trap. Right. They don't know about the real rapper, you know, in the past. Like, same thing, so... Uh, Low you know, pump or something, like... You know, yeah, like, like, old school music, Italian music, they don't know it. They know they're just a new school, you know. Yeah. That, yeah, probably... Can we live in good. a world of YouTube and Instagram now, so it's like whatever's cool and pop culture, you know? Trendy. So I, I got a question for him, and this is going to end up being a video that we're going to post, but... What's up with Sicilians not being Italian? Like, why are you not walking out with an Italian flag? Why is it Sicilian? Like, we're curious. Because, like, it's not only you. Like, any Sicilian, they're like, I'm Sicilian. I'm not Italian. And we're like, okay. Like, yeah, all right. All right, then. You're we not get Italian. it. We get it. That's a tough, a tough question. You could take some time to think about that one because I know that's, a, like, it's hard to really you, answer you see, in one like, shot. Sicilians are the most, pr- I guess, because they're like the little, the island that, they're like, all right, we're our own thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like, same thing like Napolitani and Sicilians. Like, they're both we're, very we're, proud. We are very close. South Italy, like Naples and Sicily, we are very close. You know? But I don't know if you know that, but, you know, if we talk about history, like right now, the um, the best, like, uh, best situation is in North Italy. More job. Milano. Of course, Milan. yeah. But time, time ago was different. Every like, uh, the, 
like uh, let me think about it sorry no no problem uh, you try to say in the south there was more, it was better the south was better like, with the, with the, with the earth jo- like? the, there is a now when you say south you mean Rome or no I'm mean? talking about south like Sicily you know Naples you know you're talking, about, you know you're talking about like the times when you know people would work in the farms No, just in the farms, right? Even, in you know, fattoria, f- cose no, no, just farm. I don't, I've been in Italian. I didn't just, um, I just don't get a name. It was the opposite, though. There was more opportunity in southern. Yes, there was more opportunity, more job in south. What, wow. what year is this? Are you, are you saying? Mm, I don't remember the years, but time, time ago. Yeah, And then that's interesting. Switch the politics, switch everything on. T- Are you talking about like 1600s, like? I'm talking about like 1920s know, around no, there. I'm talking about like 60, 80 years old, 80 years ago. 80. Yeah, like the 50s yeah. and stuff like that. 40s, yeah, 50s. You know. That's interesting. I got, I got to do my homework on that. That's pretty. Because I feel like so many immigrants were leaving at that time. Like that's when a lot of yeah, because they kill, they, they kill the south. So, so, so they move all the production, all this stuff. I don't know, I don't get it, the name of uh, so before maybe all that you know yeah. before people started moving to America I'm not getting this point was it during yeah it's fine was it like during the time of the war maybe mm. uh, like a uh, second war uh, what, what, what I, I, I don't remember I don't know about it I don't, the, the right time <laughs> it's fine but don't I, I just know that and before yeah. you know like there was more opportunity in South Italy And then that's why then became a war against South and North. Really, you know, because they move everything on the North. Yeah. But was everything you know on the South, like all the production of you know made it in Italy, like shoes, clothes, all all this little stuff, like was on the South. Yeah. You know, so there there was more job on the South. Mm. Then you know the politics and all this stuff move everything on on the North Italy, and you know, all the people from the South, you know. Don't want to have a job and stuff like that. You still feel so the tension between. So that's why you know everybody that moved to you know America and stuff like that from the south. Right. Because if you see here, there is all people from you know, like Sicily, Napoli, Na- Naples from the south. Campania. Yeah, I would love even with you guys to do a research on that and yeah, yeah. You know, because right now I can find the right word. Listen, to explain nah, cool. Listen, man. Whenever you want to come on a podcast, we'd love to have you. <laughs> you want to <laughs> run it back. But yeah, there's still tension to this day between Northern Italy and Southern Italy, and it still shows. Even so. on our page, it shows. The no offense to our Northerner fans, but they're the ones that are always like saying you're not a real Italian and stuff. I feel the most. Yeah, right? they're. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to really pinpoint it, but I definitely feel like it comes from more from the northern side. Even the dishes are different. The risotto, you know. So the best food, you know, south. of Italy is on the south. All the best, best cheese, right? Best, yeah, best food, best cheese. We, we have, you know, orange, lemons. We got the best. Naturale, naturale. Yeah, we got the best, you know, like the soil. beach. See, we got Taormina. We got a lot of beautiful places. Um, I don't know if you know that, but Sicily is the third most beautiful island in the world. Wow. I don't want to know that. I just read that about it. <laughs> That's the crazy. Third most I know. It's, I've never been to Sicily. Sicily's world. beautiful. I've been there. I've never been. Yeah, I, I want to go. I've been so to I feel like I'm going to go to Catania with him. Yeah. Go with the mayor, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, no, by the time he goes back, you. he's gonna yeah. be. What's up, boys? What's up? Go with you guys. Tourists and they visit Italy. Sicily might not be like one of the top places someone would go. Like it would be Rome, you know, Positano, Milan, like Milan, and the problem Firenze, is, you know, what Venice, 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 just because you know. The biggest big city like this, you know, they use, you know, they are more ready for the tourists, you know, like it's everything organized. Yeah, it's true. I get what you you're know? saying. Because They're let me say, let me say that, like we got beautiful place that I'm seeing and I never see. I'm just some picture in Sicily. Fair. Oh man, look at that! I want to go in this beach. What is it, in Palermo? Yeah. Like you know, Scala dei Turchi. I never been there. It's uh, close to Palermo. If you share the picture, how far is Palermo to Catania? Uh, just uh, just a couple hours. Yeah. If you see this beach, it's like wow, it's beautiful. You know, I I always used to you know travel around the world and never you know really in explore your own, in your own yes. country. Yeah. Now that I'm here, I start to look. Oh, look there, look there. I want to go there. I want to go. 
we have a lot of beautiful place but the problem is you know so it's, it's very big the problem politics and all this stuff we we don't really love our country that's the problem if you go here in america and usa everybody i love usa i, 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 I love so, most I love, of the people yeah. you know most of the people some people are like that too here. yeah but that's the problem we don't love our country yeah we, we don't we know. don't respect our country so why did other people should do that should yeah. know about our country everybody's proud about you know the us like in italy is different so that's i think is the, the the first problem that we have we should respect I love more our country, you know, and it starts with yeah, us, though. Start with that. Starts yeah. with this conversation. I have, a, I have yeah. a good one right now. So, Giovanni, every time me and Sabino go to Italy, we're yeah. considered Americans. Yeah. When we're here, we're considered Italians. Yeah. yeah. I bet you 110 percent when you go back to Italy, whenever that day is, they're gonna call you American. Oh yes, one hundred percent. Oh yeah, that's yeah. it. Almost they probably already that. do now. They probably yeah, already do. Yeah, yeah, because you know, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, totally true. When yeah. I coming back, you know, my friend, oh, ah, I bet like you, American. Yeah. Yeah, let me, you know, that's most of the people are ignorant about, about that, you know. A lot of my friends say, oh, man, I want to move in New York, too. My life's going to change. No, I remember I used to, like, move, like, go for the first time in, you know, in the U.S. with another two guys, mm -hmm. you know, but different way. You, you, you guys all went different directions? Different direction. I remember this guy before they get everything ready, you know. Uh, he was so happy like he was going to change his life like this like as soon as you're gonna step you know, in, uh, in the US listen I said bro you think, think money grows on trees yeah. right? I, said, I, said, I said bro listen you know yeah New York is beautiful and everything but it's not that easy and fast, like, yeah. it's not it's not like you know there you can make it it's expensive here New too York, New York can be your nightmare it can be your dream depends how you you know how you take it. it like you say he's an old soul man and yeah. uh, I just uh, this guy was older than me like 30 years uh, old and he just coming back after 3 months and he was so depressed it's not when for I, everyone when I coming back when I see him again was so skinny what's up nothing bro he was talking like this what do you do it? Yeah, yeah. What's up? No, I was studying and working a lot and everything. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I get crazy, bro. He said, no, oh, yeah. it's tough. It's tough. It's not easy, man. Everybody no, because comes. Because he was, you know, with no family, no friends. It's tough. No good English. He was working for pay the school, you know, for the visa and all this stuff. So he realized, oh, it's tough. Then the other friend, he just make it. Now he's getting married. She's even getting married too with a beautiful girl is happy well, and well, man, good. depends See? how you want to take your life you I know? feel like it's your, your outlook on you it you gotta you know? be tough man you know he was have a good life in Italy so that's why you know that's why if you really want to change your life if you feel not really comfortable in Italy on your situation you're not afraid to sacrifice yourself and do what you, what you gotta do you know, this guy was having a good life in Italy, but he was thinking, I'm go there, I'm gonna make the money, blah, blah, blah. No, bro, you gotta work hard. Yeah. You know? yeah, break your ass. Yeah, so it was yeah. too tough for him. So he coming back and, you know, change the idea about it. Javon, me and Rocco and everybody growing up Italian, all our fans, all our followers, we wish you the best. Absolutely. We're excited. You guys are gonna be seeing him a lot more. Rock, what do you say? No, like always, man. It's a pleasure having you on. Thank you so much for taking your time. I know you're training a lot now, so I respect you taking a little <laughs> yeah, bit of time know. out of your day. I picked this guy up. He's like, bro, I need something to eat. I'm dying over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He goes, sorry, I'm not talking. I, I'm just... I, was, I was so late, you know, and uh, I was on my daily run. So I just looked at the clock. I said, oh, I'm late. It's coming, it's coming. So I start to run <laughs> My, so fast. If you, were, if you were actually on time, I would have thought you were an Italian for real. I know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's definitely not Italian. <laughs> you know, we're late for every day. But yeah, but, Javad, thank you so much for coming on, man. Thank you guys for having me. Best of luck with everything. And, you know, we wish you the best, like Sabino said. Guys, if you're still tuned in to this point, please make sure all summer, subscribe to our YouTube page. We're giving away... These shirts all summer long. It could be yours. Tell a friend to tell a friend. That's it. All you got to do is subscribe and make sure to follow my man. Let's right. go, baby. Tell, tell them the Instagram handle. Sorry? Tell them the Instagram. Leonidas so, underscore. Uh, uh, Leonidas underscore team. All right. Let's follow the boy. Baby. Let's Forza get it. Forza Italia. Forza Italia. Dai. Let's go, baby.
That's perfect. There you go. All right, bro. That's how you do my first podcast. Oh, that's your first podcast? Yes, bro. Oh, uh, uh, yo. Yo, you can... Yeah, you could...